Dating as an asexual person is quite hard because I have to tell everyone that I'm asexual straight away. So if they just want to have sex, they'll instantly just stop talking to you and then move on. I'm Regan and I'm so proud to be an asexual person. I'm originally from County Durham and now live in London and I'm doing the first year of my PhD. I only started identifying myself as asexual when I was like 21. I didn't realise that asexuality is actually a spectrum. I grew up in a countryside village with a population of less than 500 so there was a lot of stigma around LGBTQ stuff when I was growing up because we didn't get exposed to a lot of things at all. You saw the same people every day and no one ever veered from their life path. My first sexual relationship was when I was 15 or 16. I stayed at this guy's house after a house party. I didn't really want to do it, but I felt like it was expected of me. All of my friends had sexual relationships and they always talked about desiring and wanting to have sex, but I never felt the same way. I didn't think that you could have a relationship without having sex. And I just thought, oh, I've not met the right person. But then I met someone that I really wanted to be romantically involved with. But then I just didn't want to have sex with him. And then I just like searched on a forum. I was like, what is wrong with me? I got all the regular responses, which are like, are you sure you're not a lesbian? Um, have you not met the right person? You've just not had good sex. But then someone pointed me to the Asexuality Visibility Education Network. And I realized like, wow, asexuality is a thing. It exists. This is exactly who I am. It felt so liberating and I realised that you know, a lot of other people identified this way and it was just so great to have a label for it and after years of questioning. <laughs> there are definitely a lot of misconceptions about asexuality. People often compare it to celibacy but no it isn't because celibacy is a choice and people also just think you have to look a certain way or act a certain way to be asexual. There are so many hurdles. When I first came out as asexual and I was trying out the term, I went to um, like the LGBTQ society. They were saying, yeah, you're, you're basically straight, so there's no point in you being here. This is for LGBTQ people only. It's always hard to be asexual because sometimes when you're actually in a relationship, people will think you're just gonna change your mind. I've also tried dating with asexual websites and stuff, but then I find that the pool of dating and asexuality is really small. There's not a lot of people in this country on those websites. Other asexual people can be in a relationship where they kiss and cuddle people. I like hugging in some forms of intimacy. I just don't like kissing or anything too physical like that. But honestly, I'm still figuring out my sexuality in its terms. So I, I'm still like unclear on what romantic relationship would involve for me. My experience of being in London is so much better. I get to interact with a wide variety of people that I would never have got to interact with otherwise. Everyone has a different story here, which is so opposite to where I was from. Now, I actually like being asexual and I'm proud of it, so it does get better. But I never thought that I'd be at this point in my life being able to openly discuss and talk about my sexuality. I don't fear that judgement or anything anymore because I found if you feel like you're different, then realise there are other people out there that are like you, you're not alone. So I just recommend branching yourself out there, telling people because people will be more accepting than you think. I thought that my family would totally disown me and not understand this at all. But in fact, my mother was like, yeah, I don't want grandchildren, so it's a good thing you're not having any. Our site is so sex obsessed that you feel weird if you don't want that. So it's great to share my stories, then hopefully I can inspire someone else to come out and do good things.